Welcome my foodie friends of the interwebs. Today, I'm up to shenanigans. <laughs> hey listen, I was just at Kroger's right around the corner from Frisch's. I picked up some of Kroger's American cheese. Now, it's not bad. I'm telling you guys right now, it doesn't suck. Is it as good as Kraft? Almost. But, I mean, Kraft is not so much better than this stuff to where you'd be like, well, I gotta have the Kraft. Now, some people will argue that this isn't even real cheese. To that I say, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. So, anyway, so I bought the cheese, as I'm known to do. And, uh, and then I remembered that they had their brawny lads on sale this month uh, for $7. Now, I am a huge Frisch's fan. Grew up with Frisch's. I'm of the mindset that Frisch's is not long for this world. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Having said that, super cool dude, forgot to get his name, who worked the um, drive through at this Frisch's that I just went to. Um, I asked him. I said, dude, be honest with me. How, how much longer do you think this place is going to be in business? Now, he's a younger dude. Um, and, you know, I'm always begging on the younger generations, but there's a lot of good ones. Anyway, he looked at me. He's like, yeah, I was asking my boss. Now, why would he ask his boss? Well, because, you know, maybe he's got ideas to at least make it through college with this job. I have no clue. But anyway, he said that uh, his boss had been working there for 40 years. And she, 40, can you even imagine? Anyway, she thought that the place would go another 20 years. It's always the employees that are last to know. Hopefully he's right. Hopefully she's right. Hopefully everybody's right because I hate to see Frisch's go. Now, I am going to doctor up this brawny lad. You know, and it wasn't that long ago that I did a brawny lad um, review. Brawny lad and fries review. Frisch's brawny lad and fries. And one of the things that I forgot to mention, and I guess I should have mentioned. Tartar. <laughs> uh, was the bun. Ketchup. This dude that worked at drive-thru was super cool. <laughs> he was loading me up. Um, now let me show you real quick. Now, as you know, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the crinkle fries. But for those of you who love crinkle fries, these are as good as they come. And I can tell that these are hot. Oh, man. They're almost too hot to eat. How rare is that? Okay, let me get this brownie leg. Put some bag fries in there. I'm sorry, guys. You know, I don't even have to explain myself. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing about the brownie leg. The bun is a normal bun. The bun is not a wheat bun, but it's a, um, I want to say pumpkin. Is it pumpernickel? Go to the website and look it up. But it's a brown bun. Now this um, this onion that they put on here is much closer to what it should be. The the last review that I did, to be honest with you, it really wasn't right. Was not right. Okay, let me put this. I'm gonna put this piece of cheese I got right here. I'm gonna put it on this. Uh, I'm gonna lay it right on top of the onion. So now we got a little cheese on our brownie leg. Okay. Then, dude hooked me up with a plastic knife. <laughs> God bless him. I wish I would have got his name. Then, I'm going to slather a little tartar. Now, the tartar comes with the big boy, but does not come with the brownie lad. Always keep that in mind. But the tartar, you know, the tartar. You got to have the tartar. I'm going to put the tartar. I have ketchup and mustard on it. I'm going to put the tartar on the brownie, lad. Oh, man. <laughs> put it on there. Slathering it on there. Here, let me show you real quick. Uh, I need a different vehicle for this. Let me uh, turn this. Hopefully, I don't need that anymore because <laughs> it landed on the floorboards. Okay. So, that's what I got on top of the uh, on top of the young yon. On top of the young yon. Although, to be honest with you, and, you know, look, it's, maybe it's just the wrong time of year. That onion should be a more hefty, this is much better than the last one, hefty, thick cut. Okay, I'm going to slap that on there. So, there you go. I don't, I don't know why I thought there was pickles, but apparently not. I'm going to put 
a little extra mustard because I got to pack it. Put a little extra mustard on top. And then, and you know what? I'm going to I'm going to leave that can that little thing he gave me. I'm going to I'm going to leave that. I'm going to use a I'm not sure where, where this ketchup came from, but I'm going to a little ketchup on from this packet. So there you go. Mm, mm, mm. I forgot to say I was going in for a chomp, didn't I? I was all excited. Mm. Man. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes certain things they just need a little help. Oh, this brownie lad didn't need any help, to be completely honest. It's a good deal. $7 fries, good deal. Um, I'm just making it a little special. I'm personalizing it. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, what? Try that. Personalization. Is a necessity in life. Now, here's the thing I want you to think about. No matter what sandwich you're eating, no matter what you're doing, try to make it your own. Mm, 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 mm. The brownie lad really is, in my opinion, one of the bigger or better burgers out there. Even if you don't put the tartar on it, even if you just stick it to cut your mustard, even if you don't put onion on it or um, cheese on it, it's a good burger. Mm. Now, I have done all kinds of doctoring with this over the years. I've added patties to it. That bun, it's not rye. I think it's a pumpernickel, but that bun adds a different dimension. It just does. Mm -mm -mm. You know what's kind of cool too, as you can see into the kitchen. You can watch them making it. They don't. This stuff doesn't sit around. That adds another dimension because everything's hot. The burger and the fries. Now, having said that, they do need to tweak how fast they can get stuff done. Basically, like I said in my last review, they got one guy who's the chef for everything. He's cooking for the drive-thru, he's cooking for the the, uh, the dining room, and, you know, which would be okay if it, <clears throat> if it was all short order stuff, but it's not. And he got... Meatloaf and mashed potatoes. They got a bunch of stuff. Now the guy that that um, was working the window, he was kind of like I I could tell he was kind of also like the prep chef. So they were kind of tag teaming the thing, which is cool. Now here's another hack. So you got this this uh, this little thing of uh, tartar. Take you some French fries. I got a friend that puts ketchup in there and everything. You know, french fries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, 
your boy knows a little thing. He, I look, I'm no stranger to the table. I know a thing or two about eating. And I can tell you, if you follow my lead, your cardiologist will kill you. And if you don't have a cardiologist, you will at some point. <laughs> You'll be a happy camper. All right, that's all I got. Actually, I'm trying to hurry this up because I got to get rolling back. Mm, 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 mm. Get you some. Peace. <laughs> Precious big boy.